The Chiefs lose to the Bills 2017. Controversial call at the end of the game. They call an offside on Kadarius Toney. Amazing play by Travis Kelsey. Finds himself wide open in the middle of defense. It looks like, you know, they're going to gang tackle him. They're going to be inside the 20-yard line. Once again, the Chiefs are going to, you know, either tie the game or they're going to go win the game. Kelsey, crazy nuthead, ladders it to Kadarius Toney, and he scores the game-winning touchdown. But then you see that there's a flag. Kadarius Toney was offside. It gets called back. Chiefs, Chiefs and Mahomes kind of melt down. Can't deny that Mahomes got rattled by that. The next three plays are kind of messy. Boom, boom, boom. They don't get the first down. Game over. Bills steal the game out. And they stay alive for a wild card. And now with the Dolphins' loss, they might even win the division. But back to the Chiefs. They've lost three out of the last four games. Their offense just looks broken. Mahomes is showing frustration. Those wide receivers keep making mistakes. Even Andy Reid is showing a lot of frustration in the press conferences like what's going on with the Chiefs like does anyone know what's going on with the Chiefs obviously the wide receivers are trash and they keep making mistakes but for the most part it's the same wide receivers as last year um obviously they're missing the enemy but who the Chiefs are just not the Chiefs right now and you know there's a lot of the I think the league is rejoicing it's kind of like when the Patriots had their reign of terror and no matter if they lost or if it was a close game, it always felt like the league was rooting against the, against the Patriots. Everybody was rooting against the Patriots. Right now, it kind of feels like everyone's really enjoying the Chiefs not being as dominant as they usually are, or they've been the last few years. But, man, what a game. The Bills versus Chiefs always lives up to it. Not going to lie, it always lives up to it. Mahomes versus Josh Allen always lives up to it. And this one, although not as high scoring and not as many wild plays, the ending was just, it was cinema, man. It was cinema. Like, you're watching the game, and you're at the edge of your seats. You see Mahomes get the ball down three with the chance to win the game. You see Travis Kelsey pull that crazy playoff, Kadarius Tony, and then, like, biggest plot twist, there's an offside on the offense. <laughs> and as a regular fan, you're like, damn, when's the last time I've even heard of that offensive um, offsides and – you know, they show the replay and you're like, yeah, this this guy is hella ahead of the ball. Like, it's pretty clear. You got to call that. But then you also understand where Mahomes and – and um, you also understand where Mahomes and Andy Reid are coming from. Like, you never call that. Like, you get a warning, all of that. You see where they're coming from. But, you know, I'm not going to lie. It kind of feels like you have a point, but – in defending that point, you look very, very weak. Like, yes, yes, I know that for the most part you get a warning or for the most part that doesn't go on called. But it is just a bad, it's just a bad thing to defend. Like, yeah, I broke the I broke the, the rule, but you never call it or like it never gets called. So why would you call it? It's just kind of one of those things that it's an untold rule that you're not really going to call that. But in the same way that it's an untold rule and you're not going to call it, when it does get called, it's it should be an untold rule that you're not going to complain about it. Just like it, it's one of those things where like where if we benefit because it's an untold rule that we're not going to really call it, once it does get called, it, it just looks a little, you know, petty or sore loser ish of you to call it out it's like oh come on dude like we never call this why are you calling this like i know i i know my wide receiver is dumb as fuck and no offense Kadarius honey but that was a dumb play i know my wide receiver is dumb as fuck he's a little he had a you know lapse of judgment he had a lapse of concentration but like you never call that it's just i don't know it looks weak in my opinion but i see where they're coming from as a human, as someone that's made mistakes on and off the field, I, I can see why, you know, they'd be very, very frustrated, especially because the play that happened during that foul was amazing. Like, Travis Kelsey, this was crazy, man. To even think to attempt that and just go off script and do that with the game on the line, when you know, like, 
<laughs> especially if you look at the replay, the Bills, the Bills defender was like super close to like getting a fingertip on the ball. And like the way footballs are shaped, you get you get like a little grace on it. It'll start spinning all kinds of weird, it'll hit the ground all weird. If that ball even hits a little bit of the Bills hands play of the Bills player's hand, I it's it's a scrum, it's a fumble. It, it could be <laughs> that potentially could have been a very dumb play by Kelsey. And we're looking at that like well, hopefully it's a foul on the defense so that it gets called back but, and then it would have been like damn foul on the offense game over. Potentially. If you look at the replay, it was like a couple inches from hitting the Bills the Bills um player's hand. And then that would have been crazy, but it worked out for them, so that's why it kind of hurts more that they bring the ball back and they call the foul. But it was second down. They still had three plays to get a first down. Like Mahomes is more than capable of driving them down the field, getting another first down, at least getting the field goal and going to overtime. But, like, I could see the highs and lows. I could definitely feel the highs and lows. I could see where they're coming from. It is what it is. The Chiefs still have a chance for the first seed. Uh, ahead of them is the Dolphins, who just lost on Monday Night Football, and the Ravens. But if I'm being honest, I think the Ravens are going to hold on to that first seed. Uh, I'm super happy for OBJ. He's getting his He's getting his shine right now. He's getting catches. He's scoring touchdowns. He's celebrating. He's dancing. Like my boy, it looks like he's back. Don't want to jinx it. I hope he does. He stays. I just hope he stays healthy. Super happy for him. But I mean, the Chiefs don't count them out, man. Cause that AFC is low key full of pretenders. Like we don't have any concrete, any concrete like like frills, frills. Like if you look up and down the AFC, and we all know the AFC is stacked with quarterbacks, and we all know that Caleb Williams hopefully should go to you know, the NFC to bring a little bit of a uh, level playing field. But with all the injuries, you have Lamar Jackson, who a lot of people still have a lot of questions about him in the postseason. We'll see how that goes. Once he plays better teams and they're not able to run the ball, can he? I, I believe in him. I think he can, but, you know, we still got to see it. Um, can he, you know, get to the Super Bowl? And then Tua... <laughs> Two and the Dolphins are on fraud alert, <laughs> even harder than the Chiefs, because you know they just lost to the to the Titans. So Dolphins don't shouldn't really scare the Chiefs. Um, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, okay, that's that's that should you know keep the Chiefs up at night. And then you got Trevor Lawrence with the Jaguars. You know, Trevor Lawrence hurt three interceptions this week. You know, are they are they gonna knock off the Chiefs. Then you got Flacco, good story. But can you really see them knocking off the Chiefs? And then you got what? Trubisky or Kenny Pickett. And then you got uh I think the Colts with Minshew, like who's really going to beat the Chiefs? Like it has to be the Bills sneaking in there or it has to be Lamar Jackson. And that's pretty much it. I don't think the Dolphins with Tua could do it. So the Chiefs are a sleeping giant right now, and they did lose three out of the last four, and they're kind of whining right now, and it's kind of annoying hearing them whining because, you know, as we all know, the Chiefs have, you know, had their fair share of calls the last few years. So it is a little annoying, a little annoying to see Andy Reid do that, a little annoying to see Mahomes do that. It was funny to see Mahomes go up to Josh Allen and complain, and, like, try to... I don't know, get some sympathy or get some solace from him. Like, Josh Allen's like, bro, dab me up and get that shit out of here, bro. I'm not trying to, what do you want me to do? Say, oh, I feel for you, bro. Like, oh, I wouldn't have thrown the flag. Like, what are you, what are you doing, bro? That, that was that was weird, funny. That was, I don't know, Mahomes, I don't know. He's looking a little weird this last few days, but, you know, we'll give it a pass because he's been amazing for so long. But, like I said, don't sleep on the Chiefs. They're a sleeping giant, but don't sleep on them because at any given point they could wake up. And like I said, the AFC is wide open. None, none of these AFC teams give me full confidence that they'll be representing the AFC in the Super Bowl and not the Chiefs. But 
What do you guys think? And what do you guys think about that penalty? Should should they have called it? In my opinion, it was it was cool. If they want to call it, Darius Tony was like egregiously offsides in my opinion. But it is what it is. I still got the Chiefs. Gun to my head, I still got the Chiefs coming out of the AFC.